So, welcome back to the MB Coas channel, the name's MB Coas, of course, and I'm back and welcome to Los Santos, and for the third goddamn time in a new account. See, last time, I thought I had my account linked, but boom, this guy didn't die. That's really messed up. Maybe we can shake him off. Nope. Is he just stuck on us? Or is that... I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Either way, I'm back in uh, Welcome to Los Santos, and the problem is I thought I had my game linked to my um, website account, but that wasn't the case, apparently. So now I made sure to link my account, because if you didn't know, I think if you don't have your account linked with your game account, like both the website and the game account have to be linked, otherwise uh, I think they're gonna wipe your account, which is probably what happened with my old one because I tried logging in with my old one and it was just apparently gone. It said I had to register again, which was bollocks. Well, aside from that, we're in Last Ventures again. We're gonna have to do something here. And uh, I forgot to mention, uh, as soon as you link your game account, you get a fat 50,000 right in your pocket, which is really useful considering... Uh, is this guy gonna be stuck on our goddamn car forever? <sighs> so he didn't bother to fucking get off until now? Or was he actually stuck? <laughs> Bro, I got him all the way from Los Angeles to Las Venturas and that's what it took. Oh well. So I've been gone for like four months, but... Uh, sorry, I don't know, I've been busy. I gotta uh, do something now. I gotta get me some clothes. And unfortunately, I think... Uh, a lot of the uh, clothes shops are kind of locked. Uh, there's a slick little ramp right here, and our car got into a slick little car crash. Mm -hmm. We're good. Uh, yeah, always kill these guys whenever you see them. Boom. All it takes is one slick jab, and you're good to go. And for some reason, you can't pick up this weapon. What? I didn't even notice this. Are they serious? Did they seriously bar us from picking up even a fucking pistol, bro? Yeah, you know, over the years, uh, this server has been um, clamping down on all the uh, weapons uh, accessibility ever since, like, I don't know. See, two years ago when I was playing the server uh, for the first time, I mean, when I was recording the server for the first time, um, no, I will not shut up. I cannot now. What? Can I just... Yeah... Alright, sweet. The shop will be unlocked when we reach level 5. Oh, that's so convenient, yeah. Sorry, I thought. So anyway, as I was saying, two years ago, uh, the they weren't so, um, weren't so obsessed with gun control. So, basically, you could just go to ammunition, buy whatever the hell you want from the start of the game. Right now, you cannot buy anything you want from uh, the start of the game, and what makes matters worse, uh, they took away the only, like, reasonable- Oh, there's a many- I don't care. The, they took away the only reasonable, like, opportunity to get a weapon, which is by smacking the dealer on the head, and just picking up his f***ing pistol. They even took that away, which is crazy, if you ask me. Come on, scriptures, like, get your shit together. Like, if you're gonna, like, restrict everything in the game, it's not gonna be fun for the new player. And I do understand that there's, like, a lot of griefers and shit, but come on, this is GTA after all. Why are you turning this into some hardcore roleplay? Right now, we gotta find something to do, and I got an idea. I think we should, like, try a trucking job, so let's head for that. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, this is an entirely new interior, which is... wow. That's interesting. What can I do here? Nothing? Am I supposed to just like... Oh, I can... I can do this, but that was just a waste of $10. <laughs> and I just got some fat for no reason. And we got an advancement. 10 kilometers. Uh, what is this? Is this a money car? Security car job. Uh, see, the problem with this uh, job is that you can get robbed pretty easily. So we gotta be careful. Alright, so I guess we're not gonna do the trucking now. We're just gonna try and deliver some security money or whatever. But just in case you know, if we get robbed, I'm not gonna be able to do anything about it. Also, one more thing, don't forget to lock your cars all the time. So, I didn't notice where we were supposed to go, so we should just check. Oh, it's not too far away. We'll be there in no time. Wow. 
Nice drift, Kovas. Lovely, thank you. Can't even turn properly with this thing. Also, I can't see anything, anybody on the map, which is problematic. Get out of the vehicle and enter the store. We gotta pick up some cash, apparently. And somebody was behind us. I did not like that. Somebody's tailing us, huh? We need to make sure nobody can rob us from somewhere. I don't know where the guy went. Maybe he just drove past us. Okay, we got the money. Let's get the hell out of here. Now we get... The okay, that was close. We gotta, like, be careful of all the f people around us right now. Because they can just come over to us and press a button and then f steal our money just like that. Uh, these are some tight streets, which make me really paranoid. Somebody might just jump us and steal our sh**. We don't have to go too far, so... I think this is gonna be our first easy payday. Let's see. 10,000, that's great. Not complaining about that. Let's do one more, because it's easy money, as you can see. It's got some risk to it, but it's easy money regardless. Also, as you probably seen, the GTA Trilogy thing dropped not too long ago. And needless to say, it's a fing embarrassment. So the GTA Trilogy, like, oh my god, like, they could have done better. They could have done a lot better. Uh, I don't understand. Where's the... Am I supposed to, uh... What's going on here? Oh, it's not that store, it's this one. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. Oh no, I don't want to buy anything from you. Alright, let's get our money and... Let's make sure nobody tails us. But even if they tail us, there's not much we can do about it. Lower the cash to the bank in the clown's pocket. And where is that exactly? Or are you kidding me? What does that mean? I gotta go around? Okay, this is too dangerous. Right, let's take a chance here. Because you see, anybody can come up from uh, in front of us and just take our money. And we're not gonna be able to do much about it because, see? This guy is a candidate. Okay, go. Go right ahead, buddy. Oh, he wasn't gonna rob us. That's interesting. Maybe he's just bored. So anyway, in terms of uh, GTA Trilogy, I mean, you've seen all the f disgusting models they did, all the uh, stupid textures, all the the controls, the glitches, the fucking disappearing objects and everything. Like it's it's embarrassing. Rockstar Games, you're a fucking multi-billion-dollar company. I expected much better from you. That being said, I don't think we should expect Sandra's multiplayer on. GTA Trilogy anytime soon. Even if it comes, I'm probably not gonna play that because GTA Trilogy really is a f embarrassment. I mean, it does have its ups, its pros, but overall, it's kind of f***ing trash. I mean, you've seen ratings, right? It's embarrassing. Alright, 10k in our pockets, cold hard cash for us to take. As you can see, we did three and now we're good. Let's try and do something else. We should try and explore as many jobs as we can in uh, the server because as you can see there's a bunch over the span of our um, five or six episodes. We've only been able to like, what have we done so far? We played the arms dealer in episode three. We played paramedic in episode four and in episode five we were just robbing stuff. So we didn't really like do anything much. We gotta figure out what to uh, do now. Drug courier is a fun little... What the f Oh, that was interesting. Cars just like respawn on top of us. <laughs> the drug courier is a risky job, but as you can see, there are no players right now. We can just go and do that. Oh, sorry, bro. <laughs> I think he's done now. What? What was that? Was that cheating? Now, let's uh, fly to San Fierro. Gotta find where the. Uh, Departures, uh, yeah, here we go. Let's buy a ticket. We need San Fierro. Let's go. Oh, free achievement. That's cool. And we press uh, E, I mean, shift again, and then we're in San Fierro in like three seconds. Awesome, right? So, to get to the drug courier job, we gotta go to the warehouse, which we had to blow up in the single player campaign. It's right here. We drive inside. Please open up. All right. And there should be some free bikes here. Yeah, there's one guy doing drug warrior right now. As you can see, we can just grab a spare bike. Always lock the Sanchez. Press two, and you're good to go. As you noticed, 
You've got three stars and you gotta go to El Corona. It's not gonna be too hard. The Sanchez is really maneuverable. We can just like drive all around the cops and the only thing we gotta make sure we don't do is like crash because they're gonna be all over us in a matter of seconds. Also, one more thing you can do is just type in cops and just... Oh my god. 26 cops. I'm not sure if we're gonna make it through Los Santos alive. <laughs> so the route you need to take is like through this tunnel. And there's gonna be a second tunnel on our right. Alright. This lets us cut through pretty much all of the countryside. But there is a big risk that some cops might be at the end of the tunnel here. Uh, please don't be. Yep. I've been busted before, like on that side of the tunnel, several times. I'm kind of paranoid about that too. We gotta get to El Corona, which is uh, near the airport. We can technically drive around. The more people I see, the more anxious I get. And there's no use in trying to lose the stars, because... I mean, we could have done that in the countryside, where there was less people, but... I guess that's out of the window now. We're not gonna go back to the countryside. I'm trying to think of smarter ways to like drive around roads not on them. Because that's the last thing you want to do. Technically we can drive around the airport. Take this route. Oh my god, you f I mean that was kind of my fault. I wasn't supposed to be driving on this side of the fucking road. Uh, now our drugs are spilling, so I guess that's content. Alright, El Corona is right here. We made it in one piece, which is surprising. 20k. Oh, that's not bad money. Back in the day, you would get like 16k or something. Like even less than that. Now it's like 20k plus. Also with a half spilled bag. That's insane. So we gotta lose our cops now. Or we gotta just go back to San Fierro and uh, take our next uh, job. The thing. Oh, okay, I'm busted. Yep, that's it. Well, that was smart. Good job, boys. Well, we sold the drugs. We still sold the drugs regardless, so whatever. <laughs> there should be a big pile of blood under the sink, bro. Oh my god. Can I just get a, another cell? What is even going on here? Why are you punching people? Oh my god, this guy's doing some Tai Chi sh on the bed. Maybe I want the bed too. Alright, I'm out of the bed. You can do animations by typing in dance 3, for example. Oh, never mind. Can I do something else? Can I? Oh, yeah, I can do this. Yeah. <laughs> we lost 5,000? What? That was our f bail? Are you kidding? Well, either way, we've been recording for quite a while. I'm gonna try and think of something to do in the next episode, but so far, I hope you... What the hell is going on? Anyway, um, we did some uh, security car stuff and then the drug courier. We're gonna explore more jobs in a future episode, so make sure to like the video and uh, I'll see you guys later.